Well, let me give you my fourth one. And that is automation and automation being driven by doing more with less. But also I thought automation in general is a, is a hot topic, but also clinical automation is something that is bubbling right here, right behind your, your right ear. And you know that there's a significant nurse shortage coming right down the pike. I mean, it's like two years away, we're going to have half million shortage of nurses working in the field. And we have to figure out a way for the nurses that remain not to burn them out because we're, we're just putting too much on them. But clearly, we're just still doing the same stuff around uh, speech to text and the, the nuances and the augmetics and, and all those. But we're also doing the, we saw a really cool clinical automation tool at the healthcare to healthcare event. And just about every CIO in the room was either going to look at it or had looked at it because mm -hmm. it is... I think it is one of those top of mind things. Now, when we hear automation, a lot of times we just go straight to the administrative functions uh, and we're a little afraid to go to the clinical side, but I think mm -hmm. we're going to see this new batch of clinical automation tools. And we are going to try to figure out how to adopt those very quickly because, because of the problem that exists. Yeah. I think there's some cool, you know, tools that I've seen, everything from chat bots to EICUs that I've run in my past that situations where you can not have everything that is happening with a patient go through a nurse or go through a, a human. There's some sort of like intelligence that sort of directs them in the right direction. With EICUs, just the ability for a nurse to be able to go do something and make sure that their patient is covered while they step out of the room for just a moment or that they get help immediately should something happen with a patient. And I mean, there's everything in between. None of it's cheap. All of it is, is pretty costly. So I think there's a lot of sort of business value analysis, figuring out what's the right thing to do and, and how much you're going to spend for it and what your return going to be on it. But there's a lot of cool tools coming and here.